Only eight teams remaining in the Illinois Class 4A girls basketball field as Kenwood Academy takes on Bennett Academy at the Hinsdale Central Super Sectional. The Red Wings defeated Wabonzi Valley in the sectional final, while Kenwood defeated Whitney Young to set up this exciting matchup. The Broncos leading 3-2 in the opening minutes. A team with experience and good size in the post extends the lead as senior Giselle Young banks in a shot to make it a 5-2 game. No surprise to see who Bennett turns to in order to kickstart the offense. All-state guard Lene Beaumont lets a deep three-pointer fly, and she buries it to tie the game. Later in the quarter, the Red Wings secure the loose ball, and Bridget Riffenberg finds Sam Trimberger, who continues her fantastic postseason run for the basket and the foul. Bennett takes an 11-5 lead. Near the end of the first, Beaumont drives left and floats a shot that falls into the basket. A savvy play to avoid the charge as Bennett takes a 13-5 lead into the second quarter. More of the same in quarter number two. Amelia Solarski is short on her three-point attempt, but Beaumont flies in for the putback. 25 on the night for the senior as the Red Wings go on a 14-0 run and lead 17-5. But this Kenwood team is far too talented to roll over. Natasha Barnes catches fire and hits back-to-back -back threes to start the second half. The Broncos close within 24-23. Bennett trying to get some momentum back as Maggie Solarski hits Sam Trimberger for the layup on the out-of-bounds play. Red Wings back up by three as Trimberger adds eight points in the game. Bennett freshman Bridget Reifenberg running the break and makes a great ball fake and runner in the lane. A veteran move from the young Red Wing. Speaking of freshmen, Kenwood has a standout first-year guard of its own as Danielle Brooks knocks down a three from the corner to tie the game 28-28. Two minutes left in the third quarter, Giselle Givens gets the pass and makes the floater to put the Broncos up 32-28. However, Givens would foul out a couple minutes later after picking up a technical foul. Red Wings in need of a spark to stop the run. Lene Beaumont spins in the lane before kicking it out to Sadie Sturbens, who hits the three to put her team back within one. Following a pair of Beaumont free throws from the Jaslyn Givens technical foul, Sam Trimberger drives and kicks to Amelia Solarski, who sinks the triple to end the quarter. A huge 8-0 run to put Bennett on top 36-32, heading to the fourth. The Red Wing lead extends to 10 points with about 4 minutes to go, but the Broncos battling back once again as Natasha Barnes gets the layup to make it an 8 point game, 45-37. After Danielle Brooks hits a deep 3 and a Red Wing turnover, the freshman then lets one loose from NBA range and buries it. With just over 3 minutes to play, it's suddenly a 2 point game, 45-43. After the team's trade turnovers over the next few possessions, Kenwood has the ball with under 30 seconds to play. The Red Wings lose track of Brooks, who flashes to the corner and hits the three-pointer over Beaumont. 46-45, Kenwood regains the lead to the delight of the Broncos faithful as coach Joe Kilbride calls timeout for Bennett. Under 20 seconds left, Bennett gets the ball in. Boma is trapped briefly before spinning and finding Maggie Solarski. She hits Sam Trimberger, who feeds a cutting Beaumont. Beaumont drives and drops a pass to Lindsey Hartsich, who gets the go-ahead layup to fall with just seconds to play. 47-46 on the first basket of the game for the sophomore, who makes the biggest shot of her career. Kenwood calls timeout with two seconds left. Last chance for the Broncos. The pass goes to Natasha Barnes, who was well defended, but she gets a decent look from half court. But the shot is wide, and Bennett Academy girls basketball celebrates another super sectional championship. The Red Wings are heading to state for the fifth time since 2015 under Joe Kilbride. That's enough to make your head coach do the gritty. Bennett will face Geneva in the 4A semifinals on Friday afternoon at Redbird Arena at Illinois State University. Well, I got that kid number five, you know. She's pretty good, whatever. They were like, at the end, they were like, what are we running? I said, we're getting the ball to ball, and then she's going to make something happen, which is exactly what did happen. So, 
It was great. You know, before the last play, we were down. Like, we've come back before, just like you said. And we just, he specifically said, like, Lene could get double team, so any of us had to be ready to take that shot. And I knew that we had a really good chance of doing it. So, yeah. I mean, I wasn't really thinking about anything, like, at the moment. But then when I saw Lene, like, pass it to me, like, I was like, oh, my God, that's a great pass. Because, like, she totally, like, did a no-look pass again, which she's amazing at. And it was just amazing to see, like, the crowd jump up after that happened. I told myself into the, into the uh, going out of the huddle, whether I'm getting a shot, it's either I'm getting a shot and it's going to be contested, or I'm going to make sure someone has a wide open layup because at the end of the day, I want to go out of my senior year making the right play, no regrets. So I knew Lindsay was open. I saw her seeing the girls stepped up, and I trust any one of my teammates to make that shot. It was huge because they started doubling Bo and kind of they committed that she wasn't going to beat them. And we talked about, you know, you're going to have to move the ball and we're going to see what happens. And we kept telling them, look, you got something, go attack them. Don't be afraid, go attack them. Um, I, thought, I thought we had a number. You know, and honestly, Maggie had a great drive that one time. They called it travel. I don't know. You know, I, I thought we had some nice takes. Sadie had one. Sadie had one. Uh, yep, Sam Amelia, went a couple of times. Amelia one, went. One. Yeah. I, I thought that was a big part of it was the girls who started attacking a little more, being more aggressive. Well, obviously that spark is really important, but it's important for our team to stay level with how we play. Like, we don't want to get too chaotic with, like, everything going on. So it's important to, like, get us amped up, but, like, to make sure we stay, like, where we're normally at. Like, keep it chill, keep it our pace. Don't let them control the game, let us control it. So that was important. But it was important to get that spark going. So it's just fun to be a part of. Oh, it's, it's a really a dream come true. We, since day one in fall workouts, we've been working our butts off to get here. Um, yeah, we didn't win conference. We lost a lot of game, more games than usual for us this in a typical Bennett year, but the goal, the goal never changed. Goal never changed, for sure. It's actually unreal. Like, to do this with my teammates, who are, like, honestly my family, it feels amazing. And to go back and to know, like, we can do better than last year. We can crush. And I have, I really, like, I'm confident that when we go there, we're going to crush. So I'm just super excited. And this is, I, this is the most fun I've had all year. It's so much fun. I'm so excited.